times it can help the away team also, especially a number one team in Auburn that's been a little sluggish lately. No say around the shot blocker. We know who Auburn is. And now we're learning who Arkansas is. Stanley Amude. Katie Johnson left his feet and turned it over. Tony running and slamming. Tigers getting stuck up top of the five man. That time was Cardwell. What a move by Green. <laughs> How about that ball fake by Green? A little trickery. The depth that he's accustomed to with Jasper not being in the lineup tonight. They only play zone four percent of the possessions on the season. Williams solves it. A baseline jam. And here's Williams. He's just going to sweep it through baseline and plan against thinking he's just going to be a spot up three point shooter. Been over two minutes since the Hogs have scored. Likes with the kick out. Barry by Amode is second three. Well, and their schedule gets a lot tougher starting with this one in the month of February, so we'll see what they're made of. Kick out to Williams. Foul on the three and it goes. The Hog fan, this is a big moment for the big guy. You could make a case he's been the best player in the SC. Another heads up play by Ten and White. Don't learn that watching cartoons. Wide open underneath, and oh. Kessler with the block. What a game saver by the 7 1 center. Dexterity there, just tipping it to himself. Devo Davis reverses it in. Williams just building a wall, making him turn to his offhand over the wrong shoulder. Note splits him and finishes. Largest lead of the game for the Hogs. J.D. Note tied for the lead league in scoring. Has another! <laughs> Auburn finally gets it to the paint. And an offensive rebound for a second chance. Third chance of charm. Dylan Cardwell the slam. Majority of the Auburn backcourt is being selfish players. You see, Katie Johnson doesn't want to pass the ball. And indeed, living up to the scouting report, he gets it blocked. He had an amazing stat on Katie Johnson. A contested jumper isn't a bad shot for him. Wendell Green left the three short. Kessler got his hands on it. Auburn will have an advantage. The lob and finish. Green the crossover. Got to know, uh, shot at it with two on the clock. And he drains it. And he'll take off and head straight to the locker room. And there is no doubt about it. It is loud. This place seats 20,300. Jabari Smith Gets a shot off and gets fouled. There you go. You go to your superstar when you need a bucket. Posting him up on the perimeter. You get a big on big screen. And the key there is the adjustment Bruce Pearl made. If Jalen Williams isn't going to play Walker Kessler. Kick to the corner. Williams with the ball fake goes around Kessler. Kessler still recover for the block. And then Tony cleaned it up. Nice move by KD Johnson. He gets his first bucket. 14 of the last 16 in this game. Arkansas has found its offense in the second half. Devo Davis. Shot clock will be late after the ball is tipped in the backcourt. Green downhill. Kessler from deep. Second three of the game for Walker Kessler. We got Tony down low. Mismatch. Got to get him the ball. Instead, a corner three. Got Delonte Davis puts the Hawks back in front. Green lob, Kessler finish. Well, that's a play Auburn has gotten all year long. Playing with three fouls into Kessler, comes up with another block. Second best shot blocker in the country. Stolen right back. No Tay, no look. Tony shovels it off to Williams. Kessler still got it. Four blocks for Kessler. Jabari Smith for three. Smooth jumper. He's got a dozen. Cambridge, Flanagan, both with contested threes. You want to try to at least get a paint touch first. Moore gets it inside. And a quick hitter to Jalen Williams. It's that important to him. Flanagan is the only starter on the floor right now. Davis with the three. Right in the eye of Williams. Arkansas's transition defense has been elite in this game. Even when Auburn thinks they have an opportunity, there the Hogs are. Likes gets by Flanagan. 
You want to see speed? How about Chris Likes, the Miami transfer, says, up, oh, going right through the lane. Oh, wide open, Note after the slip by Cambridge, and that cost Auburn a bucket. Great three by Likes, defender falls on the flop, Note open for two. Cambridge for three, got it, and that snaps a 7 nothing Arkansas run. You live and die with him, and he does that. When he's in the game, you know it's a risk. Look at the finish by Wendell Green Jr. In the first transition bucket I can recall for Auburn. As we turn to the line for the Tigers as well, this is their starting five. Green gets it to Kessler, and he gets a high percentage. Look, 16 for Kessler. Mismatch going against Kessler. Got into him and shared it. And a foul. In Auburn history. Note working on it. Bruce Pearl doesn't mind this matchup, he told us. Note doesn't mind it either. He's got 20. Green will take it himself. Kisses it off the glass. Not a lot of complicated sets here. Just ball screen stuff that's worked so well for Auburn all year. Green Tony on him to give Note a little bit of a breather. Kessler's been the screener. Green the scorer. First at the rim and now from deep. Able to get an opening in the paint, and this time just Tony gets nailed on the screen. You got to fight over the top. That's what Note is. Thousand have never been so quiet. We are tied at 64 under a minute to play. Toying with a seven footer, can't get past him. Inside to Jalen Williams. We're tied again. Green with five will launch for the lead. No! Rebound by Arkansas. And we're going to overtime in Bud Walton. J.D. Note over Jabari Smith. Wow! 25 for Note. Arkansas back in front. J.D. Note saying, I'm the best player on the floor tonight. Yeah, this kid grew up playing on the outdoor courts because it costs two bucks to get in the indoor gym. He said, I ain't. Smith, quick move. Shares it to Cardwell. Got tied up. Got it to go. Left for Arkansas to squeeze one off. Instead of Note to go into Tony, and he's rejected at the rim. Two minutes to play in overtime. Katie Johnson has it altered. And a shot to the face for Jalen Williams, inadvertent. Tony at 6'6 on Green at 5'11. Green throw it to nobody. Hogs looking to add to their lead. Here's Jabari Smith trying to find space. Got another. I mean, a contested three is good look for him. He gets the defender in the air, gets enough space. At 6'10", he's like KD, man. He can shoot over anybody. The more touches he gets, the more productive he is. With 10 seconds left, here's Green. Off the mark. Loose ball controlled by the Hogs with two seconds left. And this will finish it. In style. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.